again, shush, 2.6 in a nutshell. We first gonna get a double banner with Boba Boy, Ayato, alongside Kazu... What? Venti? Come on, Hoyoverse! And then a rerun of Ayato's Little Seas. No troubles, can just continue to come out of Blanda in one way or another. Daddy, I'm sorry. Daddy, sorry. Daddy, sorry. Ayato, a sword wielder, looks like a promising DPS with hydro infused attacks. Swift normal attacks as fast as his sims can aspire the credit card. And an AoE ult that just makes everything around him dripping wet. No, not just wet, okay? It's higher than wet. There's wet, very wet, super wet and dripping wet. Seriously, get yourself a man who can slurp you all day just as how Ayato slurps his boba. Jesus, his bloodstream is basically boba. That's not a healthy diet, man. And that's coming from me, an Asian. Where the fuck are you getting that boba tea? In addition to those, a new drippy 5-star sword, Harem Gepaku Futsu. Takimikuri Kanka State, Ayato's normal attacks become Shun Suiken. Which are like I like your funny words, blades. Magic Man. Two new artifact sets. One named Vermilion. Here's the show buff you all be asking for. And one set that could be good for you, Mia. Maybe. We're finally, finally getting the damn Kasam, which looks like a very deep cave. But not as deep as your mom. I'm especially excited for this area, which looks like an upside down city. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Other than that, Kasam looks fine. It looks alright. Got a lot of rocks. Have fun, miners. Also, long time no see. Daddy Dunslet is back, and you know when he shows up, shit's about to go down. Which means. A new Archon quest. Let's see how the main storyline progresses. No, why are they bringing Clay to Nezuma? No, not again! Not again! We get the main event, the Fear of the Violet Garden, where we see monsters hanging out with the Inazumans. Inazumanos? Inazumis? Clay making bombs with Yoimiya. No, that's freaking adorable. Albedo making rule 34, as usual. Venti drunk, as usual. And other characters doing shenanigans with each other, which will be interesting to see at least. The main event will reward players with mats, a crown, and ah yes, six star Ayato. Also, it is divided into four mini games: take pics of weeds and stuff for Primo gems, tower defense is back, and yes, Primo gems, sword fighting event. Yeah, where you use Traveler without your element. I guess it's time to sharpen those double blades, my friends. And for the artistic people, flower arrangement. Can I finally say Genshin players gonna touch some grass? More mini games. Travelers, grab your mints and take your gacha salts because we have this cooking mama event. It's just cooking Genshin but with extra steps. And after cooking, you might make a fragrant dish and you can give this fragrant dish to your waifu. Aww, that's sweet. Just don't put anything sus in those dishes. Please, no. Next event is the Vibrator Crystal Research. Uh huh. To put it simply in monkey terms, uh, there's buff and trigger buff. Uh, you connect those dotted dots so that you choose what triggers which buffs. Understood? Yeah, me neither. Just random bullshit, go and kill people. And to wrap it all up, yep, another selfie event. Oh, you was getting a little too comfy with photography impact events, huh? We're probably gonna get 2.7 in Azuma Festival before 3.0, which is Sumeru. I'm hoping. And I'm 100% saving my gems for the Dendro Archon. Can't wait for her. And also, bruh, I'm so depressed. They had the audacity. The audacity to not even tease Sumeru. Come on, Hoyaverse! Tickle my balls a little! Come on! Come on!